and welcome to today's video, Why C? First, a little bit of background about C. C was invented back in 1972 by Dennis Ritchie at AT&T Bell Labs. And here we have a picture of Dennis on the right side of the screen, having fun with Toos Hagen, an open source development activist, and Eric Allman, the developer of SendMail. C has been the main development language for Unix operating systems and utilities for a couple of decades. In fact, our Python interpreter was written in C. C has been used for serious coding, along with other languages, on just about every development platform. C is often used for embedded software systems, and it's also experiencing a resurgence for parallel programming on graphics cards using a library called OpenCL. Now you might be wondering why we use C in our introductory courses. Well, first of all, there's a practical reason. Several upper-level courses in CSSE, ECE, ME, and Math all expect students to program in C. None of these courses is a prerequisite for the others, so really each instructor has a difficult choice. Either teach the students the basics of C, which of course will be redundant for many of them who already know it, or expect the students just to learn it on their own, which is going to be difficult for the other students. So a brief C introduction here in this course will make it easier for you and your instructor when you take those courses. Second, there's also a very good pedagogical reason why we teach C now. Comparing and contrasting two languages is a great way to reinforce your programming knowledge. Seeing programming at C's lower level view than Python's or Java's can help you increase your understanding of what really goes on under the hood in computing. Many other programming languages, like Java or C Sharp, share much of their syntax and semantics with C. So learning any of these languages will be easier once you already know one of them. If we only see programming from the perspective of one language, we can get a very skewed view of the world of programming. So let's talk about some of the trade-offs that you encounter when programming in C. First of all, the programmer has more control. For example, C provides direct access to hardware, which is a good thing. However, there are fewer high-level language features, like built-in lists, classes, and objects, so the programmer sometimes has to deal with more finicky details. Compiling a program means converting the whole program from the code that we write into something that the computer can execute. C code is usually compiled for a specific processor. That means it runs faster than a language like Python, but it will be less portable than Python or, or Java. On the other hand, compiling the program means that we can't type and run just one line at a time and see the result before writing the next line, like we did early on with Python. Finally, we have static typing, which makes it easier to catch programmer errors. Static typing means that every variable in the program has a specific type that can be checked at compile time. Of course, there's the extra work that's required to actually declare those types. Until next time, I'm Matt. Catch you later. Thank you.